What's up guys? It's Wally, and today we're going to be doing some battles with the Mirror Herb Sneasler. So with the introduction of Mirror Herb in Generation 9, a lot of people have come up with some really interesting strategies to make it work for their team. I remember a couple of regulations ago, I actually slapped that onto a uh, Salamence. That way when it went out uh, with its Intimidate, if they had something like a King Gambit or another Defiant Pokemon, that would end up reflecting back on us and Salamence would end up getting a plus two. It's a little risky at times, yeah. But I think that the best strategy that I've seen has actually been on this team, and that's going with uh, Swagger with the Prankster Pokemon, in this case Tornadus, across the way so that Sneasler can actually get that boost with the Mirror Herb. And once Sneasler is able to get that plus two in attack from that, man, this thing's going to be able to sweep a lot of things. And with really strong moves like Close Combat and Dire Claw as its stab moves, and Dire Claw especially having that chance to be able to inflict a couple of statuses onto other Pokemon as well, makes it extremely beneficial. But even if you wanted to go with like Rock Slide, no, it's not the most powerful or most accurate move, but still having the spread damage, being able to hit flying Pokemon and things like that as well, especially at a plus two with Sneasler's high attack stats, it's going to do some really good work. And then after you end up using the Mirror Herb, you're going to end up proccing your Unburden because you're not going to be having an item anymore, and that means that Sneasler's speed is going to be doubled. So even if you aren't able to get a Tailwind with Tornadus, you're still going to be able to be extremely fast, and Sneasler, with its high speed stat as well, will end up outspeeding a lot of things too. So I'm really excited to get in some battles with this and see if we can make this work. And again, a big thank you out to our buddy Adam, who is the one who lent me this team on stream today. So Adam, really appreciate it, man. So we'll get into some battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just have in chat, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. But let's get into the battles. Oh, this looks like a fun first battle. It's going to be a little rough, don't get me wrong, but it's going to be fun for sure. Um, so let's go Torn and let's go, um, with Sneasler too. It's going to be good because if they start with, um, either potential screen setter there, uh, we have the poison to really go into them. We may have to worry about a Steel Terra, but at least we have a close combat for that then afterwards. Uh, besides, we may be confusing one of them, and that's always a good thing in my mind. And then in the back, let's bring Flutter and let's bring Raging Bolt as well. And let's see what we can do here. Now let's see, what do you think they lead? I, I would imagine that they're probably going to want to start with like a little Nine Tails, But at the same time too, you never know. They could just bring uh, like Torn Urshifu. Torn Nine Tails, that works too. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, honestly, sunny day wouldn't be bad right now either, but um, nah, I'm, I'm just gonna go swagger over there, why not? I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust in the heart of the cards. Um, I'm gonna tear it into steel. I'm gonna go for the dire claw over there too. Risky? Yeah. Um, worth it for the content? Oh, you betcha. Oh, you betcha. That's good. That'll help us avoid a flying move if they decide to go that direction, too. I was not expecting that. And, of course, they get their Tailwind. All right, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Here's what we can do now. Let's end up going for, uh, we gotta try for it again. They're probably gonna go taunt though. And let's go for the rock slide. It's super effective on both. Oh, nice, they didn't. Let's go, I thought they were gonna taunt. Very nice though, we'll take that. Now, please hurt yourself in confusion. Thank you for the plus two. That's gonna help out quite a bit. Thank you. Took the Dodrio route. Let's go. And we hit both rock slides. Oh, and that's some damn good damage right there, too. Leak win, that's fair. So let's go tailwind on this one. Let's go rock slide again. And it's good because we actually have two extra turns of tailwind over them then. Going forward. You knock them out with the rock slide, you love to see it. 
And again, the good thing here, again, is the fact that we are going to have our Tailwind for another three turns after this. And they're only going to have it for one. And we still have our Tailwind setter. Depending on who this is, we can totally change weather as well. Ooh. Ah, okay. That's fair as well. Um, all right. Can't swagger over there. Let's try to go for the Bleak Wind, in all honesty. I'm also going to go for the... Uh, I should just take them out. Let's go for the Dire Claw over there. Please don't terrestrialize into steel. Okay, good. Ooh, and a fairy! Oh, we should have went with the Dire Claw up there then, huh? Good stuff. Goodbye, buddy. And a crit, too. That is overkill. That is truly overkill right there. But that's kind of what you look for with, with this team. All right. Way to go, Sneezler. That's perfect. Again, we have the Tailwind here. Um, just for the confusion, let's go for the Swagger. And let's go for the Dire Claw as well. And let's go. Yeah, I think that the Dire Claw was going to be enough, especially at plus two, to be able to take them out. So, again, the Swagger was just for style points for the most part, but really, honestly, that was definitely Sneasler's game. Good game. Wow, it has been a long time since I've seen Sandy Shocks, to be completely honest. Um, effing dope, though. I love that. But that's not going to stop us from going Torn and Sneasler. Uh, and then probably, honestly, going Raging Bolt and Fluttermane in the back. Um... I obviously don't want to bring Dozo or Tatsugiri by themselves. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't want to bring one of them by themselves, so I feel like Flutter's going to be a, a good bring for that reason here. Plus, we do have a handful of moves. It is a uh, choice spec, so that thing's going to hit extremely hard regardless. Um, we just need to make sure that we would be going first. But all doable things. So let's go right here. Let's see who they end up starting. We're still going to go with our swagger and our stuff, too. All right. Well, that's, um... All right. Don't be booster speed. Son of a bitch. That's okay, though. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the swagger down there. And I'm going to start off with the Protect. We're still going to get our, uh, our plus two, though. Tailwind. Oh, the fact that they outsped us is not good. That means that, yeah. So if they want to go taunt on the next one, we're going to be in, in a little bit of trouble. Let's go. Do they go Earth Power now, or are they going to go Thunderbolt? Hopefully we're not going to find out because they hurt themselves in confusion. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Alright, so let's go for that Tailwind here. And let's go for the... Yikes. Um... In all honesty, I really do kind of want to save the Terra, though. Only because I don't know what's in the back. We'll give it a shot, though. Dude, I think that was supposed to be a Protect. I think that was supposed to be a Protect. Let's go. Nice. Oh, so close. Oh, man. Is that Sash? Yeah, this is Sash. It's 
understandable. Misun. Wow. Wow, RNGs is helping us out today. Definitely helping us out today quite a bit. Uh, so let's go for the Bleak Wind on this one. Sunny Day could help them, though. We'll go for the Bleak Wind, and let's protect. Oh, wow! They were just going to cancel on that. Uh, th well, to be completely honest with you, uh, hurting yourself in Confusion twice is extremely rough. If you need a good dose of it, go check out the Dodrio video, because we did that quite a bit. But I totally get that. At that point... May as well just kind of kind of call it off, though. But either way, really good game. Didn't think I was going to see Sandy Shocks, but hey, there we go. Ooh, now, this is one where I don't think that we're going to end up starting uh, Sneasler, only because of the uh, Intimidate. Um, I really don't feel like going down. Um, however, I mean, we would obviously be able to... Um, we'd obviously be able to be okay, though, only because um, we would end up getting the plus two from the Mirror. But... Again, not something I want to really deal with on the first one. So, let's start out with Fluttermane. Let's also go Raging Bolt. And then in the back, let's have Tornadus and uh, Sneasler as well. And let's see what they end up going with here. Um, it's been a while since I've seen High Dragon. And honestly, anytime I think of High Dragon now... Um, well, I guess aside from Iron Jugulus, the only other thing I think about was that old, uh, like, Focus Energy strategy. Um... And being able to uh, make sure that you crit every single time. But that's okay. I don't think we're going to be seeing that here. Hopefully not. Let's see what they end up leading, though. Either way, at least we have our... Uh, yeah, Flutter and Insane. Cool. That's totally fine. Please don't be speed. Sweet. That helps out so much, in all honesty. Um, I didn't think that they were going to terrestrialize into fairy. I would just go Shadow Ball right away. In all honesty, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Moonblast over there, and uh, let's protect. Am I right? Yep. And I get it. I understand it. Uh, we just need to hope that we end up critting. Oh, actually. Oh! I'll go an Icy Wind! And the miss! Holy cow! We must be Titan Speed, to be honest with you. Good stuff! Holy cow! Holy cow! Yeah, that's gonna get taken out by a uh, Thunderclap. Ah, yikes. Well, that's not a big deal. Let's go... Oh, that's right. We have to go Moonblast. My bad. Uh, let's go Moonblast over there, and let's go for the Thunderclap up into a Fluttermane. That's fair. Back into Insane. Gonna be a protect then. Or detect, I should say. Nope. Cool. Dude, let's go! I thought that was gonna be sashed in all honesty. But luckily for us, it was not. And 
it might be possible that we're going to be fine without uh, without Sneasler here. I think we might be fine without Sneasler, in all honesty. Nice damage there, too. Ooh, Snarl, that's going to be rough. And what are we now, minus two? Well, they didn't even have to go... Well, I guess the Snarl would have also been for, for Bolt, too, but that's okay. Alright. I'm bringing Sneasler on this one. I think we're going to end up protecting on this first one. Although, in all honesty, we are fast as all hell, so um, we might actually be fine. But, um... Sorry, right, I want to make sure that we get this uh, that strategy in. Uh, I'm not going to be terrestrializing though. Yeah, I'm not going to be terrestrializing Sneasler, so I'm going to terrestrialize Raging Bolt. So let's do that, and let's go for the uh, Draco Meteor over into Raging Bolt. Uh, theirs, I should say. So let's try to get rid of them. Big ass giraffe. Cool. Oh, we did go first, anyways. That's okay. Uh, I, again, honestly, I was doing that because I um, wasn't sure if they were going to go for a Draco, too, or a Dragon Pulse, or whatever they may have. Either way, ha I'm still happy we did it. Nice. They're going to try to knock off our par our our power herb. Power, not power, mirror, holy cow. Guys, please ignore me today. Alright guys, here's what we do to win this now. All we have to do is go for the close combat and do Sin. And we go Thunderclap into Fluttermain. Take them out. And I know we're not plus anything because we didn't proc the mirror herb or anything like that. But, um, still, close combat still going to do some good stuff though. I think. I don't have to think anymore. I, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that would have been overkill with the Mirror Herb then. Oh my goodness. But there we go. Uh, again, I know we didn't get the strat in with the uh, swagger and everything like that, but... Hey, when you end up winning, it really doesn't matter. Now does it. Good game. Well, Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to be facing a Whimsicott Terrakian beat-up scenario. Uh, that's never necessarily ideal, but I think we're still going to be okay. So if we go Torn and Sneasler to start, I think we're actually still going to be in a good place. Um, then the back, let's bring Bolt and let's bring Flutter uh, again. I feel like we're going to have almost identical teams, except instead of Torn and Sneasler, they're just going to go uh, uh, Whimsicott and Terrakian. It's going to be my assumption. At least any time I've seen any team with, like, Whimsicott and Terrakian, any time I've seen it, it's typically just been uh, their lead and going with the beat-up uh, into the Justified. Um, um, at least we'd be able to get the Swagger over there, though. Um, the only downside to that, I, I think we would actually want to go for the Swagger into um, Whimsicott, though. Obviously, if, yeah, they might hurt themselves in confusion, but Terrakian is so strong that if we end up making it stronger, especially after it gets beat up a couple times, that, that just wouldn't be necessarily ideal. However, it would be kind of funny to see them at plus six and hurt themselves in confusion and knock themselves out, you know? But that's, again, a lot of things would have to go right for us there. There they are. So let's go for the Swagger down there, and let's go for the... Honestly, I'm going to go for the Dire Claw there. I think that might be a better use right here. 
Because they may end up terrestrializing. Yep. They're probably going to end up terrestrializing Terrakian into something that obviously is not uh, is not going to be rock. Oh, that's not good for us. Nice! They had upper hand! Let's go! Thinking that we we're going to fake out. I get it. I get it. I really do. But thankfully for us, that was not our game plan here. Thank you for the plus two. Get the Dire Claw. Get it down to Sash. Do we get any of the... Any of the procs or anything? Nope. Well, let's see if they hurt themselves in Confusion knock themselves out. They do not. Okay, that is unfortunate. Um... Uh oh. Um, okay. This is okay though. This is okay. I think we're gonna have to go for a um, tailwind though. So let's go for the tailwind and let's go for the dire claw. Honestly, even though rock slide is super effective, dire claw being a stab move. Because that brings it from 80 up to 120, and then Rock Slide 75, and even though it is super effective, goes up to 150. But again, it's a spread move, which would be pretty bad for us too. Um, so I trust Dire Claw a little bit more. So let's go for that. That was the quickest, the quickest uh, confusion spell I've ever seen in my life. That's okay, though. That's okay. The, the main reason wasn't for good stuff. The main reason wasn't... Uh, uh, I'm just so happy we ended up knocking that out. That makes me feel a little bit better. But yeah, the main reason for the swagger wasn't for the confusion over on the other Mon. It was to make it so that we got our plus two. So, again, just for that reason, I think we're in a good spot now. Let's do that. Let's go for the Bleak Wind. Let's go Dire Claw again. I'm going to assume that they're not Choice Scarf, even though they probably are. That's understandable. Ah, and a Flutter. What up, buddy? Oh, boy. That's fine. Is that going to be Speed, or is that going to be... Special attack? Good to know. Nice. Holy cow. Oh, we couldn't get a proc on anything, but that's okay. What is that, 58? Oh, yeah, that's going to KO. Just barely. Just barely. That was right on the edge where it would have been a roll. But still, the amount of damage that we got there was definitely worth it. And again, we're going to be able to knock out two mons here. Um, and so they ended up losing two of their best attackers, too. They end up losing Urshifu, they lost to Rakian. Now, all they have left is Flutter, as well as, um... Uh, what's its name? Uh, Whimsicott. In all honesty, I think I'm actually gonna go Raging Bolt to start. We're gonna Terrastalize into Fairy. Um... Yeah, we'll be good. So let's see. We have Tailwind for two. They have it for two as well. Um, let's go for that Bleak Wind Storm. And then let's Terrastalize and go for the... Um... In all honesty, I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. All right, perfect. Yeah, I think they saw the same thing that we saw. We could have went for the Thunderclap as well, but... Again, we would have been able to survive whatever they threw at us right there, at least for one turn. And we would have been able to do a lot more damage with the Thunderbolt as opposed to the Thunderclap. Maybe not a ton, but a, a good amount, uh, potentially enough to 
kind of make a difference in that battle. And either way, we had Flutterman in the back to be able to kind of clean it up. So good game. So even though there are a couple things that you have to worry about before you decide to send out Tornadus and Sneasler together, like for instance, things that are going to be able to block the Prankster, like the Armor Tail or Terrain, uh, and Intimidate and the Sneasler, it's still a really great combo to be able to send out there, especially if you don't see any of those things. And even if you do... You can always kind of offset the Intimidate by going with that Swagger across the way and being able to give yourself the plus two to Sneasler with the Mirror Herb. And that way you kind of net a plus one. But Sneasler's got some really good firepower and even at a plus one is going to knock out a lot of good things too. And if you do end up proccing that Mirror Herb, you do become faster because that Unburden is then going to double your speed. So again, a lot of good stuff with Sneasler and Tornadus together. And I think you saw that in these battles too. So again, really big thank you out to our buddy Adam, who's the one that lent me this team. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.